Welcome to our first adventure on the very merry time cruise on the Disney Wish. This is our third Disney cruise and we wanted to share with you some of our highlights. Your check-in time is 30 days prior to your boarding date. And uh, that's where you can get your boarding group number and upload any important documents that you need for the cruise. Oh, that's Mallory. Mallory's super famous. That's Jojo. Hey. I, I'm, yeah, yeah, Bailey. Bailey's going to be famous, too. We've been on Disney cruises before, and remember there would be a line of cast members lined up to clap us in, but it's a little different these days. What do you say? What do you say? Thank you. These elevators are touchless buttons, so don't lean against them or you'll get everyone in the elevator upset because you just triggered all the four levels. Marsh Lane Market is where we went, deck 11. The kids counter is accessible for young kids to grab their own foods. Wow. Chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Can I get, um, <laughs> but yeah, two different types of, there it is, lamb, shrimp, and some. On our previous Disney cruises, baked goods were available throughout the ship. With this cruise, Marceline's Market was the only place that had them, and they were yeah. only open during yeah. the day. We tried the Marceline's Market for breakfast as well, and pretty standard fare there. We got the sausage, we got the Mickey waffles, the hash browns, the bacon, and the pancakes. All right, the next thing we'll talk about are these quick service stations located on deck 11. Uh, you'll get foods like barbecue, pizza, burgers, tenders, and even a Chipotle styled station here on this cruise ship. So you can make your own bowl, customize it just like you can at Chipotle, and uh, the kids loved it. Rises right, right to the bottom. We heard about the snow cones being available on the cruise ship and gave it a shot. Wheezy's split freezies is a snow cone. And how much was it? Four twenty-five. Ice cream, of course, is included. They have different flavors of the day and they can swirl it for you. These hot drink cups were a lifesaver for us. We use them throughout the cruise. Marvel was our first dinner rotation that night. Keep in mind, this is the first ever Marvel Cinematic Dining Adventure on a cruise ship with Disney. Uh, basically, you play an interactive role in a Avengers mission, and the kids can interact with that device there on the table. Uh, there's a button there that they mash, and it just lights up the uh, the whole room there. I am Ben Dine, the Wasp. Look, before we start, push it, push it. It was decent, uh, wasn't anything memorable. Now keep in mind, of course, you can order as many items as you want. <laughs> and once the show's over, you'll see Ant-Man and the Wasp come out to greet the guests. Eat a donut. You eat the donut, buddy. Chocolate. That's chocolate. Cheesecake. Oh, yes. Cheesecake. Now, we did go to Marceline's Market for breakfast, but we decided to try the 1923 Walt Disney to see what their setup was like. So, a little fancier breakfast options, as you can tell. We also went there for dinner. 1923 is split up into two restaurants, Walt Disney and Roy Disney. Now, food's going to be the same on both of these guys but the artwork is a little different on each one and you'll notice that here this restaurant also does not have a theatrical production like the other two arendelle was by far our favorite kids loved it the food was good as well this hallway here spend some time exploring because you'll definitely see some artifacts from the movie there now, one thing about this is that the stage is right in the middle of this restaurant. And it 
it's sometimes hard to see the show. Any Olaf theme versions or Frozen theme shirts, but this is uh, what. That is our favorite. Order as many of these as you can. Hi. Yes. Hey. Hello. This guy is the hardest working character in the show. You get it from my training post, yeah? You come back, I give you a returner discount. 4% off, yeah? Four. Oh, he has a question for you. Oh my goodness, Kristoff said something I did not like. But now we are best friends. I give him a Lutefisk and now we have the good feeling, no? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> when, you, when you have disagreement with your friend, you give them Lutefisk, no? What do you give them? You know what uh, Lutefisk is, no? no? It is a big tasty fish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love how the characters all came up to us and interacted. Oh, thank you. And of yes, course, yes. it's not complete with everyone's favorite song. Pirate Nights, we went to Arendelle again. Um, now keep in mind, all the rotational dinners have the same food on Pirate Night. So the other option you could do is book a reservation at the Palo Steakhouse or the Enchante. Now, keep in mind, these are adult-only restaurants, and they are not included in your cruise package, so it is additional cost. Now, one thing about the Pirate Night is that there's no show uh, on this dining experience. Um, now, of course, they'll give you the souvenirs for you to take with you for the after party later. Let me see. Hyperspace Lounge. We're pretty excited to see uh, what this is all about. Of course, you can get the $5,000 drink here. I just went with the Simple Spire Sunset so I can do that. The Hyperspace Lounge kind of reminds me of Space 220 at Epcot and Olga's Katina at Hollywood Studios. Good mix. Now, there are a couple of coffee places located on the ship. Uh, we have the Wishing Star on four. The Enchanted Sword Cafe on 5, and the Cove Cafe on Deck 13. So these are all not included. All right, next we'll Oceaneer talk about the club. Kids Club. So this one here is the Oceaneers Clubs, designed for cruisers ages 3 to 12. And what's great about these is that you can drop them off, and you can just go and explore the ship on your own without the kiddos. There's a slide right there comes down from deck three all the way into deck two. This is the stairwell that leads up to deck three here. Now keep in mind your little ones would need to be potty trained in order to be accepted into this kids club. There's a grand hall and of course there's that slide. Now to get in the kiddos will need these magic bands. They are $12.99. The oldest one did lose his at the uh, port of entry, and we had to buy another one, so don't lose those. These are fully automated hand washing stations that clean their little hands in just 12 seconds. The Star Wars Cargo Bay is an interactive uh, experience that, you know, you get to see various creatures like porks. trying to find a creature and then oh, they'll give you an is. ipad here for you to lurk for oh, creatures around the facility now they even have a encounter where chewbacca and ray showed up this experience was during open house where adults and kids can explore oceaneers club together it occurs during various times in the cruise, so definitely check your navigator app for those times. All right, the next part we have here is the Marvel Superhero Academy. Uh, it's basically where they pick out their suits uh, and then try them on. 
and then they can interact with a particular game to kind of, you know, fly around and battle with bad guys. All right, here are the other two rooms that you'll see uh, down in the ocean near his club. This one here is the Imaginary Lab Ride Studio, where you can d design your own roller coaster and uh, get, to, uh, get to ride it. Here is the Fairy Tale Hall. Uh, the first room you see here is Rapunzel's Art Studio, where you can do arts and crafts. The second room here is Anna and Elsa's Interactive Room. Uh, you can play some games and interact with Olaf. This is Belle's library where you can read out stories and whatnot. Okay. All right, let's yeah, jump to deck 12. This is where the Hero Zone is located. Gear for younger teens here. And i uh, got foosball table, ping pong tables, basketball hoops, and even giant inflatable obstacle course. Now, if your little one isn't into physical activity, well, the vibe is there for them. The laundry room on the Disney Wish is top notch. Probably the best looking laundry room on any ship we've been on. Um, it has over two dozen washers and dryers, and it costs three dollars to wash and three dollars to dry. There's even a soap and detergent dispenser for about a dollar um, that's available, and also there's ironing boards with timers built into the uh, the wall there. And you use your room key to make these purchases. And what's great about that is that it's linked to your mobile app. So you'll get alerts when it's done. All right, it's workout time. This is on deck five. And it has your pretty standard, uh, you know, elliptical, treadmills, rowing machines, some uh, bench presses back there. And there's also a yoga studio in the back that I didn't get time to record, so. All right, let's head on over to our room. Our room was on deck 11, near the veranda. We chose deck 11 because it was accessible to the pools and the snacks, just for, you know, for the little ones as well as for myself. Um, so it was very convenient. Now you'll notice that the door is occupied by a ton of magnets. Um, that's something that you'll notice as you peruse through the hallways. It's nice to see other families and how they decorate them as well. I will, okay, you open. Okay, open it. Don't open it. Push it in. Okay, get on the door tight. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa! The bed is All right, so one of the things you'll notice here is the wife purchased a package to where you can kind of decorate it um, a little bit so you see things hanging from the ceiling some pillowcases and that towel draped across the bed there so that is extra so we got a Moana themed room and here is the shower has a, the uh, detachable shower head lifesaver if you have little ones and here's the standard bathroom there <laughs> all right this is what mama has been waiting for all her life. Lots of uh, different ports that you'll see here. There's even a USB-C, uh, international socket there. Labels on the switches there. That was a nice touch. And a pull-out fridge door. drawer. That's pretty cool there. And we decided to use that as a shoe rack. Wait. <laughs> soap has a Mickey. The soap has a Mickey in front. A Mickey on it. Every night they would set up these towel animals with chocolates on them, so that was a nice little touch. The bunk bed is comprised of an upper berth bed that swings down and a sofa bed on the bottom. For kids, these bed sizes are perfect, but for adults, probably not so much. Good night, everybody. All right, this is the sailing away party. Uh, this is where the fairy godmother comes down and asks everyone to use her magical wishing wands to start the show. On pirate night, you have two parties here, and the first one here is Mickey's Pirates in the Caribbean. Usually starts around 7.45 and lasts about 20 minutes. And this is the familiar faces. You got the Captain Hook, that Mickey Mouse, and all of them on stage. The second one is a bit later. This is the new show. This is called the Pirates Rocking Parlay Party. It starts around 10 p.m. It has a rock and roll theme, and it's around 30 minutes. 
this is the one with the fireworks show, and it's on the starboard side. Now, one thing about Pirate Night is that on other cruise ships, there's usually food that get offered, but on this one, unfortunately, there weren't any. So you're just gonna have to go to the pizza place there and grab a couple slices. The Disney Wish has three Broadway style shows. The first one we have is Seize the Adventure, where Goofy wants to become a ship captain. The second one we have is called The Little Mermaid Show, and the last one is called Aladdin. Unfortunately, I was not able to record any of these shows due to restrictions, but our favorite was Seize the Adventure. So Walt Disney Theater, please put your hands together as we proudly present Disney's Aladdin! Disney does a great job in having activities and events throughout the ship for families. We had family game shows that we attended. There was a bingo night where the jackpot went up to as high as 15,000. Uh, since this was the maritime cruise, there were arts and crafts for families and individuals to create Christmas ornaments. The Grand Hall stage was used for a few events, including reading with Mrs. Claus, introducing characters on board, and lighting up the Christmas tree with Mickey and his pals. The evacuation drills are mandatory, uh, so if your kiddos have sensitive ears, bring headphones. All right, character meet and greets. This is Elsa and Anna. They were at Arendelle. Reservation is required, and it's done on the app navigator. <laughs> Disney World Gathering is a meet and greet opportunity to take photos with the different Disney princesses. When we went, there was Rapunzel, Belle, Cinderella, Moana, and Tiana. Um, this one also requires a reservation. So this is probably the most sought after um, so definitely do it early we also got the opportunity to meet mr. And mrs. Claus uh, no reservation is required for this one first come first serve and uh, but yeah they did a fantastic job with the outfits with the makeup and everything like that with these guys a uh, little Disney magic there afterwards uh, they'll pass out cookies and hot chocolate for everyone of course, you also see uh, other Disney characters on board. Um, you just have to show up and, you know, wait in line. All right, Castaway K Day. This is the private island in the Bahamas for the Disney cruise guests. They're also building Lighthouse Point. Probably won't be done for a few more years. Bob Iger is back. Uh, you can take a tram to the island or walk. And now our oh, yeah, kiddos, mommy. you know, we stayed at the family right side there. of the island. Uh, there is an adults only side. The kids uh, didn't want to go to the hey, kids Leon club Leon. that was on the island called Scuttles Cove. So we just kind of stayed put. No, These uh, inner tubes are for rental. Hey, you, it. One yeah, thing to you. keep in mind as well is we got off the boat super early uh, to be the first ones on the island. And one drawback to that is that the restaurants actually don't open until 11 o'clock. So if your kiddos snack a lot like ours do, make sure you bring your own snacks until then. Wipe, wipe. These restaurants have pretty typical you? foods that you would see at a grill. Um, it's got burgers, ribs, hot dogs, chicken. So it accommodates everyone. That cowboy chicken. How's the burger? Oh, I almost finished it. And of course, you end it with ice cream. All right, so we're going to end this video here with a kiss good night. So at midnight on the cruise ship, you'll get to experience this light show. The chandelier basically lights up and does a little display uh, around the Grand Hall. You'll see people laying down, recording, and just admiring the chandelier as it changes colors. So it's a great two minutes uh, or so experience if you're able to stay up that late. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it uh, helpful for you and your family. 
Other than that, uh, you know, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you real soon.